this environmental project really exemplifies what Pittsburgh Unified School District and our sustainability efforts are all about. We have 13 schools and we have solar arrays at every one of our school sites. 53% of the energy we consume as a school district is covered from our solar production. Pittsburgh is a very diverse community, 11,730 students. Because of our minority groups, we have the opportunity to get additional funding sometimes. We're working with PG&E. The solar system and turbine system is a great project. We have a one-acre area of land that is a bioswell intended for stormwater retention. This bioswell needs to have a layer of vegetation growing in the, in the floor of it to be able to be successful. At UC Santa Cruz, they developed a new solar panel and it allows the red light needed for photosynthesis to go through the panels, allowing vegetation to continue to grow underneath it while it captures the green light necessary for solar production. So we have 166 kilowatt of solar energy power and we added four 10 kW wind turbines on the property. Honestly, I like to come out and just watch them spin. It's mesmerizing. The board is very supportive of this project. The board made sure that we continue. They constantly ask us in board meetings, how are we doing? We saw this as a great learning opportunity for students, and so we are in the process of building a learning center on the south end of this bioswell area. We pulled students from environmental science classes to come here and give input into what they'd like to learn and how they'd like to design curriculum for the students that'll come through here. There's gonna be an educational center where elementary kids and high school students can go. It's really important for the students to be involved because we're the next generation and we know that the planet is in danger right now. When I was younger, I never got the opportunity to even know what renewable energy was until I... So with this new learning center, now we have an opportunity to teach the younger generations about renewable energy. Our district is one of the first few districts to actually have electric buses. We did receive from PG&E the additional nine stations to charge the buses. Our carbon footprint has been significantly minimized by these new electric buses and our propane buses. Our school bus drivers are enjoying the vehicles because they are quiet. There is no motor running. There we go. So they have a song that plays. It alerts individuals to know that this bus is actually on. It's definitely a good safety measure. We have many school districts that come and visit. We also speak at conferences. We're glad to share the information, to share the technology. And I'm hoping that in the future, our students will have learned from this and continue to save our globe. Mm -hmm.